Jerry, NBAA 2015 has barely started, and all of a sudden we've got our big story so far for the day. Sandal is building a whole panel for the Kinger series initially, but I imagine you've got to be looking at other airframes lustfully at this point. Tell us about Avalon. Avalon was a system that we conceived of a number of years ago, have been working on, and we are trying to improve the uh, safety and efficiency of a flight deck as we go into the next five to ten years of change of airspace with next gen. And so we targeted the King Airs and we developed a system specifically for King Airs. And yes, it applies to lots of different airframes eventually, I suppose, but right now it's just King Airs. Now you kind of shocked a few people here because you're talking about $175,000 installed. A lot of the other upgraded digital panel installations, half of that's easily the installation cost. How are you going to do this? And if you look how it's built, anyone that comes over to our booth and looks how it's actually physically built, you'll be able to see the front and back. The manufacturing costs have been reduced without compromising any quality or safety. We do our own manufacturing, we do our own design. And it is built in such a way that we've completely eliminated the wiring harnesses. So that changes the whole equation. All the equipment is mounted behind the panel. It's still remote, but it's only a few inches away from the displays. So it really is a complete change in uh, installation technique. And the panel comes pre-assembled to the dealers, so they're out of the necessity to deal with small boxes and LRUs and so on and so forth. So they can service more customers in a shorter amount of time for less money. So you were saying basically about 80% of this installation is going to be getting rid of what came before, 20% is going to be the actual installation of the unit, and zero perspiration, we hope. We hope, yeah, that's, that's exactly right. It's very, very easy to install. It was designed that way, and virtually everything in the cockpit comes out. Just the cable alone is about 50 pounds. Now, how does this system cope with the future? The regs are changing dramatically. We know that what's on the plate now is only the beginning of what the FAA has in store for us. How does Avalon grow for the future? It is designed for 3D and 4D navigation in what's known as the next-gen airspace. So as this airspace is rolled out, it's really designed for RNP point one, and only airlines right now fly RNP.1. It's an air transport lineage in this system. The designers of it have a background in the air transport business, so it's a very, very advanced system. We sit on the committees, we're very aware of what's coming down in terms of airspace and technology, and we're very, very far ahead of the power curve. Well, Jerry, based on some of the groundbreaking work that you've done with terrain work and so forth and so on, I can't wait to see this thing, at least in the field. We're looking forward to flying it. I appreciate it. It's a thing of beauty, and I hope you get to fly it with us. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by True Blue Power Advanced Lithium Ion Main Chip Batteries feature proprietary nanophosphate technology. They deliver three times the energy density and are more than 40% lighter than lead acid or NICAD alternatives. RTCA tested, FAA certified, available to OEMs today.